18 inches long. Wow. I don't know what uh, made them make such a large type of food, but you know, I'm down for it. Welcome to the Foodie TV. Today, we're in the city of Orange visiting La Salsa's Taqueria. We're here to try some amazing and unique Mexican food that's hard to find anywhere else. Things like machetes, orraches, and huilacoche. I'm super excited and super hungry. So let's go inside and get some food. And you're gonna see all that in the video coming up right now. Guys, these machetes look freaking insane. They're 18 inches long. Wow. I don't know what uh, made them make such a large type of food, but you know, I'm down for it. It looks super crazy, but also very delicious at the same time. Yeah, this is our first time having it. This I've is never heard of time. a machete before until today. So we're trying it out. Yeah, when Damien told me that we're gonna go get some machete tacos, I was like, what is that? What are you even talking about? Is that even a type of food? And then when he showed it to me, I was like, okay, yeah. I get it. It's long, just like a machete, right? And we had to come. Oh yeah. So this is the machete and we got two types of meats in here. One is chichiro and the other side is pastor. We had an option to mix them, but we actually wanted them separated so that way we can get the pure taste of their meat to really see if it's really good. Yeah, you could get what they call the machete mixto. So yeah. you could get more than one filling in each one. So yep. we only got two, but you could get like three or three. four. Yeah. We saw some customers, they, they were getting three. like three different fillings. Yeah, and that, I thought that was a pretty good idea because you essentially got three separate meats, yeah. which made into three machete tacos. So that was pretty genius. And then over here, we got the huila coche, which is corn smut which is the fungus that grows on corn. I've never had it before. This is the first place I've seen it, so we had to get it. I've never even heard about it, never tried it. Don't even know what it's gonna taste like, but David <laughs> no made idea. it sound so good by his friends trying it, so we had to try it. This one is orache, and I don't know exactly what orache is, but we're gonna try it and find out. It looks like a mini version of the machete, <laughs> <laughs> but this one we got it with carne asada, so different yeah. meat just to, you know, have a little taste of everything in there. All okay. right, let's dive right into it. I I'm love so excited. that the cheese on the side is like crisp and grilled and it's like crunched up. So the cheese has been cooking on the griddle and it got nice and crispy. Check that out. This is the machete with the chicharron and oh my God, the chicharron is so jelly-like and it's shaking. So that's gonna be a very tender and juicy bite. And you got the cojita cheese, lettuce, yeah. and uh, you know, sometimes chicharron has like only fat in it, but I see that they actually have meat chunks in there too. So there's gonna be a really crazy texture going on. Right. Let's go ahead and give it a try, right? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this delicious, you guys. Oh. I'm speechless because it's so damn good right now. No, I don't even know what to say right now. You know, chicharron is like, like a hit or miss. It either tastes very greasy and oily where it's just uncomfortable to eat, or it's just very, very good where you want to devour the whole thing instantly. And we got the very, very good, gonna devour instantly kind today. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. It's like a nice spice to it. I like the cheesiness you get in there. You get the melted cheese and then you get some of the crunchy cheese on the outside and mm. then you get the texture of the chicharron. Oh yeah. And all the flavor just comes together so well. So well. And then the fresh masa. The masa. Oh my God. It has a nice crisp texture to it, but on the middle it's like fluffy and kind of chewy. So it gives it that really nice tortilla texture, but with the ump to it. Cool. And then again, the chicharron is just money, you guys. It's really hard to explain. It's just very, it, very, very good. It's so flavorful. It's so flavorful and it's perfectly seasoned, savory, the spice on it kicked just right. It's not too spicy, but enough to get your yeah. mouth a little going. I can see why everyone was ordering chicharron. Yeah, everybody was getting chicharron yeah. machetes and we were like, we didn't even know about it until the cashier actually told us about it. So oh. we ordered it on like the whim and so glad we did because that is freaking amazing. Yeah, that was her recommendation. All right, take a bite. We gotta move on to the next one. Mm, mm. Yeah, right. we, we can't finish up this entire thing because we, we gotta got save so some much. stomach space. Okay, next is pastor. Pastor. Pastor is my favorite meat out of all the options that you could get. There you so go, David. I'm always excited when there's a good pastor. This is the pastor 
Same thing like the chicharron, the cojito cheese, lettuce. We got the cheese and the masa enveloped on it. And uh, you got some good chunks in there. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Super flavorful. It is super flavorful. The pastor is tender. Sometimes the pastor can be a little tough where I have to chew a little bit, yeah. but this one matched the texture of the masa, the tortilla, lettuce, everything. When you go in for the bite, everything melts together, marries together, and becomes the perfect bite. It was so good. I like the traditional al pastor flavor in there, and then you can see the chunks of pineapple in there as well. Mm. Uh, I like that a lot. This is a solid pastor. Wow. Is that it the so best good. I've ever had? Uh, not entirely, but it's a solid pastor. So It's good enough where you will come back and order it again. There are just some pastor where I order it and I regret it instantly, but this was not one of those. This one was actually good. Oh, and they have a salsa bar in there, guys, where you get a lot of stuff, different salsa. Oh, they yeah. have their fried chilies and they got the carrots. There was like six, seven different types of salsa in there. I only got three that I know of. I didn't want to go too crazy on the salsa. They have like fried potatoes for you, just in case if you're not full and you want to fill it up with some more carbs, they got that as well. Really nice topping bar over there. Uh, very surprised of how many items you can select there and it's all free. So that was like a big bonus for this spot right here. And there they were on it. The moment it emptied out. Yeah. It wasn't Refilled even empty, that. it was like low, and they filled it right back to the top, and it was fresh, so I had to grab some. All right, there you go, your piece right there. All this right. is the Huila Coche. This is the one I'm most excited to try. Wow, the corn fungus taco. You can see the corn kernels in there, you see it's blue, and that's because the fungus has grown in it, and that's how it comes out. I've never seen it before until today, so this is my first time. Yeah, super excited, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Did not expect that at all. That was just really good. <laughs> the texture, yeah, has like a meaty texture to it where it kind of crunches like jackfruit almost. Let me try the kernel alone. Almost like a mushroom, I would say, like a mushroom. Yeah, the texture of it kind of reminds me of like garlic when you mm. cook it down. Mm -hmm. And there, there's just a little, I guess, bounciness to it. Yeah. And a little chew to it. But it's super flavorful it's for a corn kernel. Yeah. yeah, I was not expecting that at all. It's really good. There's no foul flavor at all. No. You won't get an off taste from it. It's actually very tasty, mm -hmm. savory side. If you wouldn't have told me this was corn fungus, I wouldn't have guessed that it was. But to my thoughts of eating it, I was a little bit weird out by it at first, but after trying it, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's really it's great. good. <laughs> it's actually really great. I can see why people like it a lot. <laughs> and you know, same thing. Customers, they were ordering it as part of their mixed dough option. Mm. And they were just cranking out the wheel of coche. But you wow. know what we forgot to do? We haven't eaten any of this with salsa, salsa yet. Salsa, yeah. So, I'm you know what? try this salsa right here. It's just been so good already. Yeah, it's so flavorful. I wasn't even thinking about the salsa. That's how you know when food is good, is when you don't have to mask it with other stuff because you're already appreciating for how it tastes already. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. I'm gonna try some of the salsa. But let's, let's elevate this. This looks like a chimichurri sauce to me. Let's go a little heavy on there. Here we go. Mm. Oh wow. yeah, salsa is really good. Oh, that's the red salsa has a good kick to it. Mm. This one kind of does too, it's kind of like a Chimichurri with really good spice in there. Ah, that's good. But that made it so good. It was like crack. It's really good. Wow. All right. So we got the hara what was this? The harache? Harache. Harache. So this is the last part. Just cut this in half and just share it. So this one, we got the carne asada. You get any meat, and it looks like it has some creme fraiche on there. So this one, by the way I'm cutting it, I can already tell it's a little bit more crispy, not as soft as the machete. So there's a difference. To it looked the same to me, a little smaller, but there's actually some subtle differences that are already that once I touch it. Uh, they don't fold this as well. It's more flat, and it, look at that, that tortilla here, it just holds it so well. The masa yes. just holds it like a plate. So, I so think we're supposed to eat it like this, right? Yeah, we're it's not like supposed to fold it. open face. 
You guys can see they're loaded with meats. Wow. And then the masa is nice and thick. Kind of almost reminds me of a little French pizza, <laughs> but Mexican style. The goodness is about to end with this last one here. Carne asada, parache. Let's go. Let's go. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Big difference on this is the masa on here stayed crunchy through the whole way. I bit into it, it was crunchy. And as I was chewing everything yeah. together, it still held that texture and made everything crispy with it. There's mm -hmm. beans in there. So you got a little bit of that bean taste in there. Yeah, you got some refried beans. I like the crispiness that comes right off the top. Yeah. And the lettuce and tomatoes adds yeah. a nice freshness, freshness to, to it. it. Yeah, and the sour cream does a nice touch where it just kind of like makes everything melt together. So good. Oh, let's chase it oh. with a chili. Oh my God, yeah, we got these chilies. Mm. Sorry guys. Sorry we're, guys. We're, we're, we're being noobs right now. We're rookie mistakes today. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Nice jalapeno. Yep. Take a bite with that. All right. One more bite with the salsa. Oh. <clears throat> I haven't tried this avocado salsa yet, so we'll try that. Bam. Cheers. Sorry guys, if I'm getting a little messy here. Uh. <laughs> it's hard to stay clean, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Really good. Wow. So the difference on that one was there's beans in it. Gives it a little bit of extra flavor. There's beans and you got the crispiness texture. Yeah. And then the lightness. Wow, everything was good. I'm thoroughly impressed. Very really. impressed, very impressed. I was, thought I was not gonna like that fungus corn one, but to my surprise, I liked that one a little bit more than the asada. It was kind of weird. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, if you're ever in town and want uh, to try a machete, this is the place to go. And the one I think you should order would be the chicharron. For some reason, that one was super duper good. Or you know what you could do? You get a chicharron and the huila coche and yeah, mix, it mix it together. together. Or you can just get three different kinds and it still comes as <laughs> one. It was just portionized in different proteins on the sides for you guys. So. And then we did see a lot of locals here, like lots. legit a lot. Mm -hmm. And so you know it's the place to go. Yeah, we came here a little early. They didn't think that anybody would be here, but once we walked inside, there was a line already Yeah, there was already a line. If you enjoyed today's, Review, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment on where we should go next or what's your favorite Mexican food. We would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of, of the, the Foodie, Foodie TV. TV. Peace. Peace.